Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. DICE is showcasing several new weapons coming to Battlefield 1's next DLC, Turning Tides. Recently, myself and other content creators had a chance to play the new Cape Hellas and Achibaba maps and get our hands on some of the new guns. Because EA gave me early access to the content on the community test environment, this video is sponsored by EA. It's also important to keep in mind this content is very much still a work in progress and there will be tweaks and changes before the final release. When we played the new maps, six new weapons were available, not counting variants, and some of them might actually surprise you. For the scouts, DICE is adding two of the most requested bolt actions, the Italian Carcano Model 1891 Carbine and the Japanese Type 38 Rifle Arisaka. Both were equipped only with iron sights, but further variants may be added in the future. According to the in-game stats, the Carcano boasts a fire rate of 80 rounds per minute and a 6-round Integro magazine, which even reloads by the proper and block clip. Players have been asking for the rifle since Battlefield 1's release, since it featured maps and a campaign mission around the Italian front in World War I. The Arasaka has a fire rate of 58 rounds per minute and a capacity of 5 rounds. Japan fought on the side of the Entente powers during the Great War, and the Type 38 saw service with Japan, Russia, and even the Royal Navy, which explains its presence in turning tides. DICE has paid keen attention to the rifle's design, including the dust cover and the Imperial Seal of Japan on the weapon's receiver. For support players, DICE has brought out another big gun, the Monster Browning 1917 machine gun. In Battlefield 1, it has a fire rate of 450 rounds per minute, feeds from a 250 round belt, and is equipped with a bipod. There are two variants in game, one with iron sights and the other with a telescopic sight. The weapon is very stable with the bipod deployed, but it suffers significantly when firing on the move. For the medic class, Turning Tides will introduce the Farquhar Hill semi-automatic rifle. The experimental rifle features a 20-round drum magazine and a fire rate of around 300 rounds per minute. Two variants were present in the build on the CTE, one with iron sights and the other with optical sights. DICE put some impressive detail into the weapon's reload. The soldier actually flips the magazine catch when changing the magazine, otherwise the remaining rounds would fly out of the drum. The Farquhar Hill rifle was actually ordered by the British in 1918, but war ended before production began. And I saved the best for last with the Assault class. DICE added the Steyr M1912 P16 machine pistol and the C96 trench carbine. Both of these weapons were my favorite to use when playing on the new maps. The Steyr M1912 P16 will undoubtedly bring back nightmares for players not fond of the Automatico. It can empty a 16-round magazine at the rate of around 900 rounds per minute. However, there are some serious trade-offs to this kind of firepower. The weapon can't mount a bayonet like the Automatico, and it also loads very slowly due to its design. If the weapon is empty, it loads from two stripper clips. If a few rounds remain in the magazine, it's a combination of a stripper clip and individual rounds. This actually makes it quicker to empty the weapon entirely before reloading it. It does take up less real estate on the screen over the Automatico, which is another one of its positives. The C96 Trench Carbine finally brings a semi-auto weapon to the Assault class. Unlike the tanker variant of the weapon found in multiplayer, this version features a 40-round magazine, which can be emptied quickly at 300 rounds per minute. The weapon is also incredibly stable, if you don't mind working the trigger a lot. It was my favorite of the new weapons, and I had a pretty ridiculous game with it. All of these weapons are still under development for turning tides, so don't be surprised if there are significant changes to them based on player feedback, and DICE may still add more new guns or variants to what I've covered here. You'll be able to get your hands on the new weapons and the new maps on October 17th when they go public on the Battlefield 1 CTE. So, what are your thoughts on the new weapons we've seen so far for Turning Tides? Which is your favorite? And what should DICE add next? Tell me in the comments, and make sure to leave feedback for the devs on the official Battlefield 1 CTE subreddit, which I'll link in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share on social media, and subscribe. Be sure to turn on notifications for the latest Battlefield 1 news. 
To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. As always, thanks for watching. Possible to have that good of a kill death ratio in this game. Oh, More like hack fire. Nobody <laughs> 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 <laughs>